Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, hope you enjoyed my videos yesterday. Um, hope you had a chance to, to, to make to make the uh, pancakes. Um, today we're going to be making eggs Benedict. Uh, eggs Benedict is for me uh, one of my favourite breakfast dishes. You know, um, quite a skillful dish to, to nail. Um, you know, from, from the poached eggs to get right uh, to the hollandaise to get right. You know, not too heavy, uh, not too thin. Um, so today I'm going to walk you through the process of what, what I feel is, is a really good uh, Eggs Benedict. So if you see my video yesterday, um, you'll have seen that we made the Hollandaise reduction. And today I can honestly say, here's one I prepared earlier. Um, so again guys, look, the Hollandaise reduction uh, in a jar, in your fridge, it'll last, it'll last for months, you know. Um, you know, enjoy lots of Eggs Benedict yet to come. Right, for the hollandaise sauce, we've got, again, the reduction. Um, we've got some butter clarifying on the, on the stove here. So clarifying the butter means just putting the butter on a low heat um, and letting the fat separate from the milk uh, within the butter. And then we're just gonna use the fat. Um, in there, we've got about 250 grams of, of, of clarified butter. Um, we will also need for the hollandaise sauce eggs. Um, some cayenne pepper, uh, some lemon, and some salt. Um, for the actual uh, Eggs Benedict itself, we've got some English muffins here. Uh, we've got some, uh, I like to use Parma ham. You could use bacon if you wanted to, but uh, I really like to use Parma ham. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the, the hollandaise first. So, into a, a, a round bowl or, or something that's um, of, of a sphere shape, um, we're going to put, I would say, um, I would say uh, 200 ml of the reduction. And again, now this, this, this Hollandaise reduction here, this is enough for about, I don't know, like 10, 12 batches. So, you know, crack on guys. So a hollandaise reduction there. In this, I'm gonna put two egg yolks and one whole egg. Now, the reason I do that is, most classic hollandaise, you would just put egg yolks. But I like to use one egg white, and what the egg white does, for me, in my opinion, is it makes the savoyon lighter. You get more of a more volume from the savoyon, and also the end result of the hollandaise, although it's got quite a lot of butter, it makes the hollandaise lighter. You'll see when we finish. So, again guys, so I've got 200, 200 ml of uh, hollandaise reduction there. Whoop, now I lost that one there. We've got one whole egg, and then we've got two egg yolks. I'm just gonna whisk this together. Like so. Now, I've got a bain-marie on the stove here. So basically a bain-marie is, uh, is what you would make the hollandaise sauce on. So it's simmering water. It's a simmering water. I'm just gonna put the bowl on the pan and I'm just gonna whisk. Like so. Now, this may take up to, you know, five, five to ten minutes to get the, the, the sabi on that I'm looking for, but it's worth it. You have to make sure the egg yolks are cooked out. If they're not cooked out, you get an eggy taste in hollandaise, which is, which is not really nice. So, again, I keep the egg yolks moving with the hollandaise. I'm kind of just doing a figure of eight, side to side. And I can see it. I'll just show you where I'm at there now, in that short space of time, you see? But we want to cook the eggs out. So, I'm just gonna continue whisking that. And we want to create in sort of like soft peaks. And just by the way as well, with the, the eggs over there, the egg whites, don't throw them away, keep them. But always keep them for an egg white frittata, you know, an egg white omelette. 
or even you could make some meringues, you know. Keep the egg white. So here we go. Also as well guys, I'm making a an egg benedict today. Now an egg benedict will be served with, you know, some prosciutto, parma ham, some, some bacon for example. Um, or even honey roast ham. You know, it's the choice is yours. It can also be made with spinach, which would be an egg florentine for the uh, the vegetarians out there. And it can also be made with smoked salmon. You could do an egg royale. So I know my sons are great fans of, of egg royale. But again, you can do it with spinach. You can do it with, with, with smoked salmon, and you can do it with ham. So again, guys, if you notice. Just show you where I'm at now. We're still not there. I'm constantly whisking. I never ever take my my eye off the sabayon. If I was to leave that and walk away and start chatting to you guys, I'd come back and I, oh, what I have there is scrambled egg. So I just really want to keep this keep this going. Again, it's a labour of love. It is a labour of love. And there's no real quick way to do it. You know what I mean? The chefs do it with thermomixes and all this sort of carry on. It's, it's, it's the classic way, it's the only way for me. But you do get jarred stuff, you know, it's okay. But this is where we're at today. We're after the, a real holiday sauce. Just move my clarified butter there. I just want to show you the clarified butter a little bit. See, what, that's what I mean by clarified. So all the fats have separated from the milks in the in the butter. Oh, we're nearly there. And if you haven't had your workout this morning, or if you haven't been to the gym in your garden, obviously. This is a good workout. Good workout for the arms, guys. Good workout for the wrists. I'm just gonna show you what stage we're at now. Still, a little bit to go. Now this egg benedict, guys, you know, I, I, I wouldn't expect you to make it every day. Um, high in calories, high in fat. But it's one of that dishes where, you know, if you want to indulge, or you fancy some decadence, this is what I'd recommend. Now this savion is coming together really nicely now. You can just see it starting to thicken up. Now I've been doing this for a few years now, so my muscles are, my muscles are accustomed to this uh, decadence holidays. Right, we're almost there. Beautiful. Now I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So, now the savvy on there, guys, if you have a look at this, I don't know if you can see that, that's what we're looking for. So, what we're going to do. We're going to add the clarified butter slowly, slowly, slowly. If you add it all at once, it's uh, it's going to split. So we just trickle it in, nice and slowly. I normally put a cloth underneath the bowl just to stop it from from moving around. Again, just be gentle with the pan. You don't want to upset the uh, the fat from the milk.
Beautiful. Right, so once the clarified butter is in, I'm gonna season out. Now I'm gonna season it with some salt. No. Give him a pinch of salt. A little, a little touch of cayenne pepper, not too much. And then just a little squeeze of lemon juice, just to lighten that up and give it a bit more acidity. Have a little taste guys, always taste your food. It can be made with, with salmon for, a, for an egg royale. It can be made with uh, spinach for an egg florentine. And I think this method of, of poaching the eggs, that'll give you confidence to, to perhaps um, try other poached egg recipes, you know? There's, there's lots of gadgets out there with, with, with bags and whatever, microwave. I mean, this is the way to poach an egg. Um, Perhaps later on in the week we should be doing some, maybe some smashed avocado, some spice smashed avocado with poached eggs. So, you know, by the time we come to make this, I think you guys will be experts within the poached eggs. Beautiful, beautiful. It's like little, like little mozzarella, guys. Right, I'm just gonna check on the muffins. I put a little bit of butter. On the muffins. Spread nice and evenly over the over the muffin there. Beautiful. Right. Now I'm happy with these eggs now guys. Take these eggs out. Ooh. Beautiful. And you see what I mean, guys, about the almost like. They're almost like little little mini mozzarellas. They're little bocchettinis. That's perfect for me. So, just gonna take some ham on the muffin. Our our poached eggs. If I can if I can pick them up. eggs on top of the pan of ham and then we have this the hollandaise beautiful a little bit of sea salt on top of the eggs guys just to season it up seasoning is very important and I'm just gonna top it with our hollandaise this smells absolutely fantastic guys I kid you not. Right. Just gonna sprinkle on the top just a little bit of cayenne pepper. And there we have it guys. Our eggs benedict for today's uh, cooking from home. Enjoy and good luck. Thank you.